Hey, what's going on, guys? Did you know you could massively increase your Google Maps rankings in 24 hours? Watch this. I dedicate this video to my friend Darren Marion. I love you, brother. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. So let's get right into it. Today I'm using the keyword roofer near me. And remember, we're trying to get right here in the Google 3 pack. This is what I specialize in. This is the only thing I do. I rank clients in the Google 3 pack. If you're interested, please feel free, shoot me a text. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down. I found a business already that uh, it's very, very interesting, and I believe we could make a couple of tweaks. Let me show you what I would do if I was working for them. I'm going to show you a couple of tweaks that I would do, and maybe you're having the same issue. So let's take a look at it. The, the um, business is going to be BB Roofing and Contracting. So we're going to jump right into that next. Hey guys, if you could please like and share my video. I made this video just for you, but there's other people just like you that want the same information. If more people like and watch to the end, then Google sees this or YouTube sees this as a, uh, as a good video that they want to share out to other people. So uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. So we, we have the uh, website that we're looking at, BB Roofing Contracting Corp. And you'll notice they have 161 reviews. And I'm saying to myself, 161 reviews, how are they how are they so far away? Well, let's take let's take a look. So um, the program that I'm using to get these orange boxes here is called um, is called GMB Everywhere. You can install the free uh, Chrome plugin that'll allow you to see the information that I'm seeing right here. Why it's good is it lets you see everybody else's uh, GMB category. So you'll notice he just has roofing contractor, but they're also contracting corp. So if he's trying to rank for other keywords in the Google 3 pack, besides roofing contractor, he needs other GMB categories like contractor, that's a GMB category. So I would be roofing contractor and contractor, okay? So what's good is you'll, you're able to see everybody else's GMB categories to get some ideas here. Okay, so we're just gonna stay with roofing contractor. Let's take a look at the website. Well, when we go to the website, the, the, um, the H1 tag right here, this should say top rated five star roofing contractor, city name, Staten Island, New York, Tampa Bay, wherever they're located. Uh, 718 Staten Island. Okay, so right away, that's that's a that's a big error. Uh, their title tag. If I mouse over their title tag, it just says BB Contracting Corp. That should say uh, Roofing Contractor, Staten Island, top rated five five star Google rated uh, uh, roofing contractor, something to that effect. Okay. As we scroll down, everything on the home page, all their H tags, everything that's big like this is, is their H tags. So we said what, what the H1 tag should be, and I think this is an H2 tag. Look, look what this H2 tag it says, explore our services. What does that mean to Google, explore our services? Now, before you laugh, open up another window and check out your website. Right, because we we all make these mistakes, and there's nothing wrong with this business. I'm sure this guy could buy and sell me a hundred times. I, I I'm just showing this website as an example, as uh, things that you need to do. You want to make sure that your H tags are covered. They all say uh, what you do and where you do it, even though we've got you covered. That doesn't really tell Google what they do and where they do it. OK, and they won several awards and then you can follow them on Instagram. So if you were Google, where would you place them? Look at this homepage. Where would you place them? What would you say they did? You don't know. 
right? You don't know what they do or where they do it. So, okay. So we have this as their GMB category. Your first set of links, we don't need a, guys, if you have a home link as your first link, please remove it. Your logo is no, everybody knows to click your logo to go back home. You don't need a home link. The phone number should be nice and big. Everybody tells me they want more phone calls. How, excuse me, how are we going to get more phone calls with a 0.5 font? I want a nice big phone number here. And then underneath, I want another a call, call today. I'll show you a good example. I always use my website. I call it the Mona Lisa of websites. This is my website that we, one of the websites we created. I just like to use it because it's, uh, it's really clear. So see how big the phone number is? See the credit cards they, ex they accept? See where they're located? Everything's right here. See if you want to call them right here. If you missed the phone number here, you got it right here. Let's go back to BB Corp. Right? Where's the phone number? Where are they located? What do they do? What credit cards do they accept? Right? I want to see the phone number nice and big on the right-hand side. Now, they only have one GMB category. So your first set of links should be all the, all the uh, keyword pages that they're trying to rank for. So, for example, residential roofing, metal roofing, uh, shingled roofing, commercial roofing, right? Those should be your first set of links, all, all their keyword pages that they're trying to rank for. Their second set of links, instead of about us, instead of about us, should be areas we serve. So they may serve Graniteville, they may serve Heartland Village, uh, Richmond Terrace, uh, Amboy. Those are different sections in Staten Island that they may service. They need a page. Uh, they need a link, rather, with a page for each section that they, that they uh, service. So let's do this again. And I know a lot of people who watch my videos, you know, know what I'm talking about. But let's just go over this real quick. You have one GMB category. Your homepage should be about the GMB category and should be about where you're from. Top rated uh, five star Google uh, or roofer located in Staten, in, in Staten Island or on Staten Island. Right. Everything here, explore our roofing services uh, 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 on Staten Island or uh, Rich, what's it called? Richmond is the, is the in Richmond County, right? So you can use different, different terms for that or use zip codes or something like that, right? Maybe later on you can use zip codes. You need more content here about what you do and where you do it. Guys, if you have a form Below the fold, nobody's filling it out. If you're going to use a form, it has to be right here. If it's below the fold, I guarantee you everyone's missing it. And almost nobody's filling it out. All right? The next thing. So, okay. So, we have the home page. We know what to do. We know, to, we, know we need to add more content. We need to add content about, about roofing. And we need to add content about Staten Island. Now, here's a Staten Island website we did. And you'll notice after what we do and where we do it, there is a section about Staten Island. There's no doubt where this person uh, performs their service and what they do. You see? And there's doubt here. If you scroll down, you don't know what they do or where they do it. So take a look at your website. Make sure that all your uh, H tags are correct and you have a lot of content. If you want to use the Soren Law site as a, as a model, feel free. I call it the Mona Lisa of, of websites. I think it's, it, it's great. Okay, where am I? Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm making <laughs> dizzy. Okay, so your first set of links now are all your keyword pages, all the keywords that you're trying to rank in the Google 3 platform. For example, affordable roofers, right? Stuff like that. Next one, where you perform these services. Now, after those three links, you could do anything you want. You could do gallery, reviews, contact. You should always have a contact us, and it should always be last. Okay? Now, 
Let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at something else. They have 161 reviews. They have 161 reviews. I just have a feeling, you see, let me, let me go to newest. I should have probably. So one of the things that you need to do, guys, is you need to take a look at your competition and see exactly what I did. See where I says sort and you want to go to newest and you want to see how frequent people are getting reviews. And if they're getting reviews like two, three times a week, you know that that's what you need to do. Try to get your reviews during business hours. It looks fishy when you post it, when reviews are posted at three o'clock in the morning. Not that it's not possible. It's just that it, it, it reviews appear to stick a bit better when they're done during business hours. Okay. I'll say it like that. Okay. So it looks like we got a review four days ago and then two weeks ago and then a month ago, right? And then a month ago, same thing. So I would take a look at all my other reviews and I would want to see uh, how often they're getting reviews. And the other thing is they have to use, look, a fantastic organization, very professional proof of individuals. Like, it has to say a fantastic, it should say a fantastic roofing company in Staten Island, right? You want the, you want the review to use the keyword, where they're from, who they dealt with, and then you want to use, you know, terms when you're posting a review, like you know, whether were they professional, affordable, you want to add those terms in also, okay, when, when reviews are posted. So unfortunately, you have to let your clients know uh, you can't tell them what to say, but you, you, I, you could guide them because if not, they'll just say you're great. You know, uh, mine saw they're great, you know, okay? The next thing, guys, you want to go over to uh, your Google business profile, right? And you want to click add update. See right here, add update. When you click add update, this is where you could create your Google posts. So if you're not ranking for roofer in Staten Island or on Staten Island, you add, you create uh, Google posts about that keyword and use relevant pictures about posts uh, about, about that keyword in your post. That's what I was trying to say, right? So if you're trying to rank for roofer, you wouldn't have, for example, a mom and her daughter hugging one another or, you know, somebody playing catch baseball or something like that. You want pictures of roofs. You want pictures of Staten Island. You want pictures of your city and what you do, okay? If you have a truck, great. Post pictures of your truck. Right? We're trying to show Google that we're a real business and where we service. So in the description, we want to add towns, right? Well, we want to add places that are notable. You know, I said the one, uh, I, I did a job on uh, Willow Avenue next to the 122 precinct, right? I did a roofing job on, uh, you know, next to the 122 precinct or next to the, the uh, Main Street Library located in Kansas City, Missouri, Right? Right, so you want to add those elements into your posts. It's very important. It's also good to add into your reviews. So if I were BB contracting, I would make all those changes, and then another thing I would do. Another thing I would do is I would have my. All right, how do I say this? I would have my friends or customers. Type in roofer near me, scroll down, go to BB Roofing, click it, click the website or, or click the call, right? And show that we're finished and uh, that we completed the action and, and X out, X out of the search. So get information by going to the website or by you see right here clicking the web clicking clicking the website or uh, or making a call 
See that? And then we want to complete the search. If you could do that like twice a day during business hours, if you're close, meaning that if you're, you know, if you're second, I mean, I, I'm sorry, if you're like, if you're like fourth or fifth, right in the search in Google Maps, let me see, I'm sorry, I have to go back. If I'm making you dizzy, I'm sorry. But, okay. So if you're located, if you're all the way on the bottom, it's not going to help too much. But if you're located, if you do those changes and you're located, that's another business, BB siding. Like, like over here, a &S Roofing, like your fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere around there. You make those changes that I just mentioned. You get one or two reviews with the keyword roofer or whatever you do. And you get you get two people a day from different devices to type in roofer near me, scroll down, click your listing, click the website, or click to call, X out of the search. If you could do that within 24 hours, I guarantee you you're going to be in the Google 3-pack. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. All right, guys. Listen, I hope everything is going well with you and your family. Uh, uh, I can't tell you how important these videos are to me because I feel like I'm able to share something with you that I know and I'm able to help you because I want you to be able to... Uh, at least if you can't do the work, know what your SEO is doing, right? At least you're at least you're informed, okay? And, and the other thing is I get to say a great message at the end. I got your attention, and I got to say to please take care of your family, right? Please take care of your family. Be good. Be, be good to your wife and kids. It's the most important thing that you could possibly do. We're, we're getting extra rankings. We're getting higher rankings. We're making more money. We're getting more leads. And uh, we're able to do better things with our family. We're able to, uh, uh, you know, our kids are able to go to better schools, for example, right? You're able to go on vacations. You're able to make good memories. So that's what I want from you. The, the reason why I, want, I make these videos is because two reasons. One, you're able to help yourself. And, and, and also, I mean, let's face it, people call me or text me and say, hey, I need your help. I don't have the time to do it, or I worked with a guy that said, give me 90 days, I could definitely get you ranked, and you haven't seen any work, you haven't seen anything, right? So, you know, you may want to call me, so, or text me, feel feel free, you can text me anytime, but let's take care of our families, that's the thing we, is the most important thing to do. Guys, have a great day, and we'll catch you next time.